Hi everyone, how's it going? So today I've been working on a mixed media project and uh, figure I'll keep it up in the video for today as well. Get that marker out of the way. Um, I started painting this, well I painted rather, this canvas yesterday. It's an 8x10 canvas panel and I used acrylic paints for the background. A little bit of masking tape and the design with the masking tape kind of got away from me but <laughs> I blocked off too much with, and um, but it left this weird kind of pattern from it so I'll take it I like it and I drew this lovely couple left-handed uh, today so now it's time to put them on the canvas panel rather I'm going to use uh, Mod Podge for that. And once I get it stuck on there, then I'll go over the go over them with a few layers of it as well. But I think for this mixed media project, what I'm going to do is uh, I guess I could work on this in front of the camera, right? <laughs> uh, what I'm going to do is cover the entire. Um, the entire piece with the Mod Podge, I think, instead of just uh, spots where I have something on the canvas, as I'm thinking that will keep the canvas panel hopefully from bowing like some of the others have started to do. And uh, there we go. And you can see I cut out the little floor tiles there. That was tricky. The whole thing was tricky using this X-Acto knife because the only spare blades I have are the wrong size for my X-Acto knife. And while I have lived a little bit dangerously and used the blades without having them stuck in the knife, I didn't feel like doing that today. And so I used a very dull X-Acto knife blade, which was an adventure. Okay, so here we go. Get these lovely two people on here. I think that's about where I had them. Excuse me for just a second while I pick this up and make sure they're right on the bottom. Because see how with these the edges are rounded? So if you have it hanging off over that rounded edge can be a problem. I think I already said I drew them left-handed. I might not have, so I did draw them left-handed today and I used my trusty Molotov black liner inking pens. Bet you saw that coming. <laughs> I, uh, my the only brush tip artist pen I have is already used up pretty much. So that was supposed to be black and it's it's about worn out. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do. Oh no! That's why his hand looks funny. I didn't get that piece off of there. <laughs> Done. Check that out. Alright. You guys saw that, right? You were waiting to see if I would notice. I get you. So I also used, you probably already know what I'm going to say, <laughs> my favorite Castell Flesh Tone Artist Pens for their skin color and um, some Bic Fine Line Markers, except for the, the most of the green on her pants. That was a colored pencil, a Faber Castell colored pencil. Although I did do the darker greens in marker. I kind of wanted them to be a mint green, but the only mint green marker I have is a Crayola. And, you know, if, if your hands even get sweaty when you're using that, you forget it. So I was afraid that putting the Mod Podge over the top of them would make them run. And then everything would have a greenish tint. Like they're all, they're both turning into the Hulk or something. So. I went a different way. Chose a different shade of green. Alright. So, 
I'll put a couple layers of the Mod Podge on them and then add, this is going to have some, some words on them, on the piece as well. So I will add those in a minute too. I really enjoyed working on the background for this. The splatter paint stuff is so much fun. Especially now that I've figured out how to get it to do what I want. <laughs> and the red in the background, I mixed a few colors together. I, uh, I used the Master's Touch Crimson Red, but then I also got these two really cool uh, paints at Dollar Tree the other day. And sometimes it starts to, to pop up off the panel. That's frustrating. Um, and I, I mixed them all together. So there's like this, one of the colors is almost as if someone mixed together hot pink and coral. It doesn't have a name written on it, but that's the best way I have to describe it. And then there's an orange that's a very bright orange and could have been a neon, but wasn't quite there. It's just very bright. So that was all mixed in with the crimson. I like it a little bit more. The crimson, the, the Master's Touch Crimson Red to me is a little bit dull. I like very warm reds, very, um, just, I don't know, have some oomph to them. And that crimson doesn't quite have enough oomph for me. Nothing against the Master's Touch paints. They're really good paints. I just... That color, you know. So I like to make sure I get a lot of the Mod Podge around the edges because I definitely, obviously want them to stay there, of course. Definitely, obviously, of course. That was not <laughs> well said. <laughs> never know what I'm going to say. This show's unscripted. Alright. That part is driving me nuts. Oh, I know why. Okay, because when there's a big drop of paint right here from when I did the splatter paint and so it's going to be a little problem child there. It's okay. I'll figure out how to make it work. And I don't know if you can hear my music over the air conditioning, but getting all kinds of crazy mixes because I put it on shuffle again. Now I'm going to do two more layers and then I'm going to put on, put the words on real quick. Well, I almost decided to wait, but I've got had my brush in the Mod Podge, so let's just see how this goes. I did um, finish that magnet that I was working on last time. It didn't quite turn out the way I wanted it to, but it's all right. And I'll probably share that the next time I have an art chat. I just didn't want to do anything like that today because when I had my migraine earlier this week, you got two of those. So, so I'll show you something new, right? The work in progress. I haven't been using Mod Podge all that long. I think I started using it late last year on some of my mixed media projects. 
was like, oh, I think I'm starting to see what the fuss is about with this stuff. <laughs> I have the gloss finish and the matte finish, and I've never used the matte finish. I got these two small tubes of it at Dollar Tree. And uh, used up my tube of the gloss finish and bought a larger jar of it. I think I got it at Hobby Lobby. I might have gotten it at Walmart. I don't know. I like that it's so easy to get a hold of it, though. And to find it for purchase. So, here's a tricky part. Words. The words that I put on the magnet that I was working on yesterday, I messed up some of the spacing on one of the words. And it's like, oh no! I'm glad that my typography teacher probably won't see it. So I probably wasn't, wouldn't even remember me. It was my teacher a long time ago, but you never know. Whoa, I just realized what I was doing there. Sorry. I was <laughs> trying to use my least sticky finger and I just made a very rude gesture at the camera. Please don't take that personally. I was not thinking. Oh my god, I'm sorry. <laughs> Almost did it again, too. Should make one of my other fingers not as sticky so I don't do that. That's embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Uh, see what happens when I start trying to work right-handed after I've worked left-handed all day? Crazy things. That's what happens. Crazy things. And listening to Led Zeppelin? That rock music's a bad influence, right? I've also, because I, I cut the letters out of magazines, and I've had problems before where it kind of peels off the first layer of the finish on the paper because my finger gets stuck to it. I'm always kind of nervous about that because you can't always find that typeface for that letter again. But there goes my whole... Look. <laughs> or it tears. I've had that happen before too. While it was on the canvas and I couldn't get it off of there. So I had to figure out a way to almost hide it. And I always forget black papers. The When the letters printed on black. It makes it more difficult to hide things like that. That's okay. This may be the fastest I have ever assembled one of these things. I'll still have a few layers of Mod Podge to put on after the video's over, but Anyway, let's get the rest of this song. Okay. There we go. Try not to. See, I almost did it again. I'm going to have to get the rest of my fingers cleaned off so I'm not. Keep using that one. <laughs> Ready for the twist? See what it says so far. You think you know where I'm going with it. But watch this, watch this. Ready? A twist! Oh no! Past tense. How sad.
I wonder if Spider-Man had this much trouble when he first started using webs. It's everywhere. Ouch. I don't know why I said ow, that didn't hurt. I did hit my elbow though, so it may just have been habit. Okay. Ta-da! So, now what I'm going to do is put some Mod Podge over this, some more layers over that, cover the whole thing in it, and sign it, and it'll be done. Like I said, I think that really is the fastest that I've assembled one of these before. Um, I'm going to call it a day on today's video. Thank you for hanging out with me and choosing to spend your time watching my videos. I, it's always greatly appreciated. Anything you want to say, you might want to say hello or send a suggestion, comment, whatever it is. Um, leave it in the comments down below. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, if you want to. No pressure, but I think it'd be really cool if you did. And also, if you like this video or any others, then please share the links on your social media so your friends can check them out. And, yeah, I'll be back here tomorrow. Today is... Is today Friday? Whatever day it is, I hope that you have... A great weekend and it is Friday Friday um so I hope you, the week has been good to you and you have an awesome weekend and I will see you tomorrow bye-bye okay.